One of the most iconic scenes in the Mara for me has become that of the topi standing on top of the termite mound. Topi prefer grassland habitats, which includes the massive grass plains of the Mara as well as the sparse woodland areas. Topi stand on top of a termite mounds for a couple of different reasons, but the most obvious is that it gives them the height advantage to survey for potential predators. The most important predator avoidance for any antelope or prey species is constant vigilance, especially in areas where the grass is very long. If they spot a potential predator, they will alarm call by snorting and often follow at a safe distance to make sure that the predator remains visible. As we've seen, newborn calves are particularly vulnerable to any of the big predators in the Mara. Another reason that topi adopt their sentry-like stance is to survey their territories and look out for male competition and, of course, potential female companionship during the breeding season. During a breeding season, the males make an absolute spectacle of themselves to demonstrate their physical fitness. They trot energetically in circles with their heads raised high and snort continuously before racing off at high speed to tackle a competitor or chase young males away. Aside from having the best name of any antelope ever, the topi has a body of a hartebeest, legs of a wildebeest, and a face of a goat. They are fast, social, and fascinating antelope, who of course have a penchant for standing on termite mounds. Want to continue your safari? Subscribe to Safari Live and the adventure continues because the safari doesn't even end here. If you want to jump on board with our live safaris, all you have to do is click the bell below.